Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 13 of FTB Interactions, uh, where today I've been processing a bunch of ores that I mined between episodes. Uh, didn't do much besides mining. I think that's about all I did between episodes. Uh, let's see, what, what, what did I do without you guys? Uh, I, I dyed my sheep black, so I jumped into the water, I got some ink sacks, and I right clicked the sheep and I made them black. Because as we learned last episode, you want black wool uh, from your sheep, and that's what I got going on. So, black wool, mission accomplished. Seems pretty cool to me. So I left two of them white, in case we need white wool. So I've got four black sheep and two white sheep. The black wool needed for the cables that we learned we needed to make last episode. So that's pretty cool. So I've been occasionally popping out there and farming them. So you can see I've got a little bit of wool hanging out in here. Did some mining. Also found it a neat trick, uh, courtesy of some YouTube comments I was reading. Uh, if you hold your jackhammer in the offhand, durability 1240, and eat your lotus blossoms. Look, it's repairing. Aha! So that's exciting to me, right? 1380 is the durability now. So we can fix it up nice and good. So, um, how cool is that? I'm super excited about that. You guys have no idea. Uh, cause I was, I was starting to get worried about, my durability got really low on the jackhammer. Like it was in the red phase. Now what I also read in the YouTube comments, somebody said that if this thing completely breaks, it will not like be destroyed. It'll just be like a tinker's tool where it's broken, quote unquote, and you can't use it anymore, but you still have the item and you can still repair it. So even if I used up the last of the durability, I wouldn't lose this item. It would just need to be repaired. And repairing it is done by, because it has mending on it, keep it in your offhand while eating the lotus. That's cool. I thought the lotus was just like, like doing experience in a way that wouldn't let that work. But somebody in the YouTube comments said that would work. And I said, hooray. And look at that. Here we are. Uh, I smelted about two stacks of steel, uh, crude steel ingots into steel ingots. So we've got a healthy amount of steel in preparation for today's episode, which I'm excited about. And we've got a decent amount of tin. Uh, and we've got a decent amount of black wool. And we've got a decent amount of string. So in my opinion, we are super duper extra pretty prepared for what we want to do today, which is making some LB casings. Now, did I make the wrench yet? I forget. Wrench, 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 wrench. All right, so what I'm going to do, let's do 33. Does that sound fair? So let's say like we wanted 32, we'd want 48, right? Yeah, let's do that. That should be cool. And that should give me 32 steel plates. And then what we're gonna do is turn those steel plates into our very first LV machine casing, which I'm sure everybody's super excited about because it means we get into the LV age, which I mean, there's some cool stuff coming up in LV age from what I understand. So we've got that and that and that and quest complete, maybe? I don't know, we'll find out. Oh, by the way, I killed a creeper. So yeah, I got dynamite three. Hooray, there was a creeper, I killed it. Uh, something I noticed about creepers in this pack, they turn invisible. Like, they walk up to you, and then when they get close, they turn invisible. Like, completely invisible, and you have to fight an invisible creeper. So thanks for that, pack author. That was just lovely. Um, so where are we at? Steam power on your first. So what do I need to make? LV machine hole. Isn't that what I just... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. We made LV machine casing. Now we can make the hull, right? It, it, there's other things casings can be used for, clearly. Lots of, lots of things. But we want to make this, which is quest complete. Get ready to enter the age of electricity. Mind like a steel trap. Look at all these quests we just knocked complete. That's awesome. So you're done. No rewards. Wah, wah, wah. Stop giving me really hard quests with no rewards. I mean, I guess I guess four more LV machine holes. That's... All right, that's a nice reward. I'll take that one. And the four vacuum tubes, what are they? Uh, that saved me some copper wire, which it is made just like the tin wire before. Uh, and glass tubes need an alloy smelter of glass dust and a mold ball which is an empty shape plate, which uh, it's all craftable. It's all craftable. And glass dust is pulverized glass crystal or pretty much any type of glass. So I'll take it. Looks pretty easy to do. Uh, like I said, I don't have a trophy room just yet, so we'll set one of those up in the future. Um, but hey, that's, that's, that's a win. And this is the main path of technology progression. All right, cool. Uh, just because it is a separate from the magic tab does not mean main progression is separate. You'll need to progress through multiple tabs simultaneously. Yes, that I agree of. A mind like a steel trap, rusty and illegal in most places. On a more serious note, the ingots listed in this column will be the main workhorses of each tier. You'll be making a lot of steel for LV. Can't wait. Can't wait. 
Uh, speaking of, we got more crushed iron ore. You're going to get hammered. We're going to get our steel plates out, and he's going to get cooking. Uh, and then we'll turn the impure iron dust into iron and gets in the furnace in a second. So uh, we've got that accomplished, right? So that's that's a big that's a big win right there. So does that mean we completed the steam age? I think we've done every quest in here, correct? So this chapter complete, but it says ninety percent. What's ninety percent about it? What did I miss? Do, 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 do. Oh, this guy, improved coke. Yeah, I never did the improved coke oven. We'll get around to that uh, at some point, but otherwise it's complete, and I don't think it's that urgent, at least not yet. Uh, so this is the main progression, right? Electric best friend. Whoa, I'm not being punny. This is the machine you will learn to rely on the most. Expect to make 20 to 32 of these multi-block furnaces as you near end game. If you don't like, if you don't tile accelerate or overclock, oh, I'm gonna tile accelerate. <laughs> the dire wolf you're talking about. Uh, yeah, that's gonna happen and pretty soon. In order power your first EBF to smelt aluminum, we'll need MB power tier. Yeah, I don't think we're quite there yet. Uh, we're not at electrical blast furnaces yet. Uh, welcome, Ohm. Unlike most forge energy systems which only care about voltage, GT also introduces amperage. Every GT machine recipe has a voltage and an amperage. Make sure to always double check JEI what the voltage and amperage requirements are. I'm going to leave that incomplete so that I don't forget about that. Um, but I guess these are all your, your basic tier stuffs. Yeah, LV machine holes. Neat. Um, but I think also, isn't there, is there a, this is the main progression line for technology. There's metallurgy, there's chemistry, there's magic. So I think, I think this is the, the, the chapter that we should be going through. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the quest chapter I want to be in now. So that's the uh, main progression chapter, right? So uh, we'll note the welcome ohm thing and the amperage stuff, right? Um, Vanilla or chocolate? For example, look at the recipe for a Tinker's ham copper hammerhead and an extruder. Since it requires at minimum 120 EU per tick, an LV extruder cannot handle that much power at one amp, so that recipe is effectively gated behind MV level extruder. So copper hammerhead. Right? So I disagree. It says it says 30 EU per tick. You lied. You lie, Quest. It says 30 EU per tick. LV. 30 EU per tick LV. Did I did I read that wrong? Did I? Tinker's copper hammerhead and an extruder. Since it requires a minimum... Yeah, no, it requires 30. Oh, I guess I get the understanding. And I remember playing... The, I, I kind of remember the amperage thing from uh, Omnifactory. But it's been a while, so I'm kind of not. Oh my god, Becky... Okay. All the all the puns. Like that wasn't even like there's not even there's not even text in here. It's just like we have a funny quest with a funny title and that's it. <laughs> it's the best. Alright. Welcome to Microcrafting Heck. That's right, I said it. Okay. Yeah, no. We're gonna need uh the LV age, huh? Ooh, we need a lot of things. LV motors. LV machine hole. So like Greg Tech relies heavily on the idea of subcomponents to introduce complexity and resource cost to the items it can create. If you attempt to craft these components as needed, you will quickly find yourself in an endless cycle of microcrafting. This can become extremely frustrating and detracts heavily from the enjoyment of the pack. The way to approach this concept in Greg Tech is to craft in bulk rather than microcrafting. Always overproduce. You will use them eventually. This quest line will help you determine which items you should bulk craft for each tier, and additionally alleviate a small portion of the grind by returning some of the subcomponents used to craft them. Sweet. And we completed LV Age because we did LV Machine Hall. Sweet. And I believe this would be MV, so we don't have to worry about that. So this is the integrated circuits we would need, and oh cool, it does give me a bunch of stuff back. Awesome. Uh, and wow, yeah, we want 40 electric motors and one of each of these dudes. Wowzers. And I assume that each of those are going to need to be making like this, right? Because here's some of the integrated circuits and the pistons, and here's, uh, you know, some more circuits and some cabling, and okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and what we're also going to want is basic steam turbine. If it's not obvious, it consumes steam to make energy. One of these bad boys will power one LV machine as it outputs one amp of 32 volts. You might want to make a couple. Okay, that seems fair. Um, amp it up. Each of these single block generators produce one amp worth of power per tick at most. Convenient enough, most single block machines in Greg Tech Community Edition will accept only one amp worth of power max with the exception of machines like thermal centrifuges. Okay. Yeah, so I kind of remember 
the cabling having a role there too in Greg Tech, isn't that right? So like there's there's these guys, right? They can do two amperage, right? But you can do a two X cable, which can do four amps, right? And then eight amps, sixteen, and thirty two amps. Okay, cool. And then meanwhile, the ten cables I made only do one amperage, and they also have loss. We're gonna want to remember that, right? So I think that loss per block is voltage. So we lose one voltage per block. I think we'll find out. So the steam turbine needs, you know, some circuits and some rotors and electric motors and cables. Um, is that all covered in here? This is mostly motors that you want me to make and a few other things. Uh, and definitely some integrated circuits. So let's, yeah, valid items for integrated circuits. Cool. We're going to definitely want to make a handful of these, right? So let me look into making a bunch of this. So red alloy cables. Oh, now these are, ooh. Those are only eight voltage, so less voltage, one amperage, and no loss. They're kind of cool. Um, so I'd, it would be neat if we could find a, a cable at this tier that doesn't have any loss, because loss is bad, obviously, but not the end of the world. So just for fun, I made sure to farm enough uh, wool here to get that. Sweet, insects. I'm gonna throw them in here, and along with the morbs. I assume they just have sheep in them. Yeah, looks like it. Um, and cool. I'm just gonna get my inventory as clean as possible so I can do all this crafting nice and quick without worrying too much about uh, how stuff should go. So, reminder, first thing we wanna get is integrated circuits, and we wanna get like 16-ish of these. So we're gonna want like 32-ish resistors, it should be easy. Uh, we just need some copper wires, paper, and coal dust. Um, or fine copper wires. So it's going to be probably easier to go. So that's like one copper plate. And this is... Needs a metal bender. We're not doing that just yet. Oh, my top. Okay, so I've got all my Greg tools here. Let's take a look. So one of the things I know I'm going to need a lot of uh, are these copper wires. So, boom. No problem there. Then we're going to need some resistors, need some cold uh, dust, which I'm currently processing. I threw a stack of coal ore in here. That got me a stack of coal. Coal. And then we've got that turning into coal dust. I think that's the best way to make coal dust, right? I don't think there's a better way to go about that. Um, unless I'm crazy, which I, I might have missed something, but I don't think there's a way to get more than one coal from coal ore at this point, short of washing it in the cauldron by hand, which is painful. So, yeah. Uh, now, if I want 16 of these, I'm gonna want 32 of these. So we're gonna start with that, that should be cool. Um, so that's your first step, right? Uh, the other thing we're gonna need is a bunch of these, which needs glass tubes, which I got some of from a quest reward, but I'm suspecting I'm gonna need more. Didn't I? Oh, I got vacuum tubes already. Okay, so I got four of them, but we're gonna need 32 of them. So that didn't help so much. But we're gonna totally need um, some more paper and some more glass tubes. And that's going to need the alloy smelter with a mold. So let's get that going, right? Let's get the mold thing happening. So you're gonna be this, 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 this. And then it's the ball mold, which I already lost track of which one I need to do. So let's just do it again. Um, and I think there's one resource I don't quite have yet. But we're going to figure that out. Um, and then you mold fluid solidifier, alloy smelter, glass dust makes glass tubes, right? So what we're going to want is you go in there. Macerator can get a bunch of glass. Which I thought I had more of. I got some, you know, because I chiseled it and put stuff in my roof. So hang on, let's de-chisel it because I don't know if it, I don't know if it recognizes the or dictionarying thing. Right, and then uh, I've been making more paper by way of this stuff, which is pretty quick, luckily. Uh, and then macerate your glass, right? Which is pretty quick, beautiful. Love it when things are quick. And then you go into the alloy smeltery and you're making more copper plates and everybody's feeling pretty good about this. You're a little slow, but you're getting there. You're getting there. And when we make these, we get one at a time. Oof, that hurts. But look, look how close we are to logistics pipes, by the way, guys. Look, steel rods, red alloy wire, glass tube. Technically, I could probably make logistics pipes right now. So we're super close, I think, to getting into logistics pipes, which I'm, uh, can you tell I'm excited about that? So let me get the foundation of some of this stuff going, and then what I'll do is, uh, you know, off camera it a bit.
but that's that's the gist, right? So if I want 32 of these for my 16 circuits, and then we're also gonna want red alloy wire, uh, which is a alloy smelter of copper and redstone. Okay. So let's get like, we're gonna be putting that thing to work a lot. Um, what I'm probably gonna wanna do, do we have more redstone hanging out in here or not really? I haven't mined a lot of redstone thus yet. Yeah, I didn't do a lot of off-camera mining of that, but we'll get to it. So you are a busy, busy beaver, Mr. Steam Alloy Smelter, but that's okay. Um, Cause you're needed for what? You need three red alloy cable per. So that's going to be... Soon we will be able to do this a little bit more efficiently. But for now, it looks like we're basically going to one-to-one it. So we're going to want... Uh, we're going to need three per. So we're going to need 48. No, uh, yeah. 16 times three, right? 48. So we're going to need 48 red alloy. Um, okay, 48 red alloy. Which means... Oh, it's two plates to one red alloy. Oof, 48 red alloy ingots will be, uh, yeah, like 96, right? So that's going to be a lot of redstone. I need to go mine more redstone is what I'm hearing. So what I'm going to do is make a couple basic circuits. That might be the smart approach. Um, and then we will... We'll look at progressing through a couple things. Like, I wouldn't mind getting a basic steam turbine today and maybe a couple components here. Like, how bad are some of these things? Not terrible. I think it's probably doable. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out. I remember some of these recipes, right? Electromagnetic polarizer. Right. Yeah. Electric motor. Totally needs a magnetic iron rod. So it looks like it works with steel or iron. So why would you use steel over iron? It looks like either one works. Oh, cool. Yeah, we can totally make that. So yeah, I won't go too crazy. What I'll do is um, we'll hang on to some of this and be prepared to do the bulk. I don't think I'm gonna do all 16 circuits right now. I think, I, I think it would be smart of me. You know what I think I really should do? Let's do the bare minimum of circuit making so that we can save resources by getting things like the basic alloy smelter would probably be a little bit faster, but um, the, the metal bender, right? And through the wire extruder, is that what this is? Basic wire mill, yeah. So let's focus on, let's focus on getting the machines that can make these resources more efficiently. That's the plan, right? So right now, for example, what I'm doing is is making Red alloy wire, it's, you know, one copper plate at a time. But if we feed it through the wire mill, we double it, right? So we absolutely want to do that. Or an extruder, but we're looking at, um, I think extruders are MV tier. Wire mill, you can get at the LV tier. So that would super duper be the right way to go. Cool. I like that plan. I like that plan. I think that's the right plan. So let's absolutely do that. So then instead, we're going to shift gears a little bit, right? Let's get a couple basic circuits, because I know we're going to totally need a few of them. So we also need coated circuit boards, which needs sticky resin, which is rubber wood in here. So remember I got a rubber sapling at some point? Where did I put you, rubber sapling? Um, you got to be around here somewhere. He's got to be around here somewhere. Do I leave it in the void world? Let me look for this. I know I have a rubber sapling somewhere. We got this as a quest reward, didn't we? Well, we can do an alchemical array. Yeah, maybe we'll just do that real quick. We can do a new alchemy array. Yeah, you can. that shouldn't be a problem. Right? So is there slime? All right, guys. So what I'm thinking is let's get rid of all this stuff for a minute because I don't know if I'm going to need it uh, immediately. At least. I might in the future. I'll figure it out. But uh, what I'm thinking right now is let's get the three basic machines that I need that I don't have at the moment. So I don't think I have a way to do any wire mill stuff. I don't think that there's a steam version of the wire mill. And I don't believe there's a steam version of the bending machine. And I'm going to call the wire mill the more important one because that's going to be the thing that, you know, works out a little bit better for me, right? So we're going to get the wire mill, which is going to make it so that we can look at that. That's cool. Uh, so that we can totally get, you know, stuff and things, right? And that's going to make wires a little bit easier to get because copper wires is one-to-one. -one, well, it's, it's a lot more than that, but it's 
So it's a copper plate equals a wire, right? But the extruder is a copper ingot equals two wires. Remember that a copper plate is like one and a half ingots right now, right? Because it's three ingots to two, so it's one and a half ingots per plate. So long story short, a wire mill is gonna be way better. So that's what we wanna get. Um, so, but we also want a basic steam turbine to get started as well. So we're gonna need, let's start with this, right? So motors, tin cables, I think we've already got tin rotors, bronze pipes, and a couple circuits. We're definitely gonna want a few circuits. So um, I did find my rubber tree, sapling was in here, but I already made it with the ashes, so whatever, I'm a genius. Um, so to make my uh, basic circuit here, right? Uh, we need this guy, which is easy enough. We need wood planks, which is compressor of sawdust. So I believe a compressor of sawdust, we just need to macerate wood. Eh? Eh? Maybe not. Sawdust. Pulverizer, steam macerator, a lot of things can do it. No, that can't be right. Uh, hang on. Wood plank, sawdust, or wood pulp. Do, do, do. One of these guys has got to be wood, right? <laughs> like, pretty much anything that's made from wood can be turned into it. But that's funny, it, it, does, it looks like wood logs can do it, maybe would be the better way to go. Might just be faster anyway. We're learning, folks, we're learning. That'll do. And that gets us a decent amount of wood pulp. All right, I'll take it. And then we want the compressor. And then meanwhile, we made our uh, red alloy ingots, right? And we're gonna use as few of these as possible to make the extruder. Once we have the extruder and the steam generator, then we can make wires more efficiently. Okay, so a couple things we need now. Uh, we can make you into, oh, look at that. You're basically all kinds of weird neat stuff. But what I wanted to make with you was the electronic circuits that I need, these guys. Needs this. And then we need three plates, right? So how many circuits do I need total? I need one circuit, and for the wire mill, I need two more circuits. So we need three circuits in total, right? So that would be nine plates, which would be 12. Okay, got it. All right, guys, so a bunch of crafting later, and I think that's going to be a little bit of a theme throughout this pack is less crafting on camera. I'm going to do a bunch of off-camera crafting as much as we can, but I got the basic wire mill up and running and the steam turbine. So I haven't tried these yet, but what I'm thinking is, like, we'll put our LV machines along this wall. That sounds smart. So I don't know if this, like, IC2 has, like, a specific output side to it. Um, not super sure. And let's see, quest-wise, we completed this dude, which got me some of these, and this guy gave me some, ooh, annealed copper wire. That's exciting. Lost for block two, but it's MV wiring. Okay. Seems like a weird reward, right? Like, I don't need MV wiring yet. And are these the kind of machines that would be all like, ah, oh, you gave me MV, I'm blowing up now. I don't know. We'll find out. Enriched alloy wire? That seems not terrible. What do I use you for? Stuffing things. I'm sure there's something I'm gonna need it for. I don't know. We'll find out. We're doing it live. Uh, so then basic wire mill, and what we're gonna want is more tin cabling. So where are we at with tin plates? Tin, 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 tin plates? Do we have tin plates handy? I was smelting more tin. We're gonna make more tin plates in our hammer here. Because I need cabling to transfer power from the turbine to the wire mill, right? So I'm thinking we can reuse our steam boilers here to power a turbine, right? And that would be cool. Uh, so that would be you, you, you. One, two. 
and then you can be that, and that's cool, right? And then hopefully this works. I don't know if there's like a sidedness thing here, but we'll find out pretty quickly, won't we? So you don't seem to be connecting. So do I have some kind of wrench in here? I do. Now in IC2, it was a shift right click to do the opposite side. That doesn't seem to be working. Maybe that's not the right kind of wrench. Wrench, 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 wrench. I think we need one of these now. We couldn't possibly, right? Shouldn't matter. Wrench, 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 wrench. I remember there was something about inserting things into sides and stuff, but I don't remember what. Can you go in there? You can. I know this is ugly. Hey, look, energy. Woot. He's got power. But now how do I... Well, that's exciting. We've got energy in there now, right? So that's super cool. How do I get you... How do I get you to rotate? How do I get you to rotate? They see me storing, they charging. That seems pretty cool. And then, uh, did you know you can make electric tools for Greg Tech and charge them? Well, yeah, that sounds cool. Uh, getting amped without the loss. Oh, that's cool. Each tier of power has a unique magic metal that can be crafted into cables. These cables are strictly superior to all other cables of the tier by allowing a base transmission of 4 amps and 0 EU loss over distance. Well, that's exciting. Uh, sweet. So red alloy cable. But that's ultra LV, right? Blue steel cable. There's your LV loss per block 4. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, so blue steel cable, blue steel is, uh, blue steel is, uh, I don't know, alloy smelter? Lazurite dust and steel. And lazurite, um, maybe we found? If not, I think I have ideas on where that might be found. Obviously not permanent, this. I'm just learning and figuring out how to put things where they belong. Uh, gotta figure out how to rotate that machine, though. Um, how do we get power out of you? Can, here's a question. We did this. Aha! My understanding is that's safe to do. It is! Hooray! Uh, so what if we did something like this for now? Nope. You definitely want to be all I'm funky like that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, hello. Can you face downwards? Maybe you just can't face downwards. Maybe you have to face sideways. In that case, let's do the power behind. Seems like the smart option, right? So tin cable, there you go. And then we're gonna put the, now do you care about like the output of steam or something? Are you gonna get all cranky because I didn't give you steam output? Guess we'll find out. Hey, you've got power, sweet. And then I can put you in here. Awesome. Now, are you producing enough power or what? You have enough energy. Your EU seems to be going down. But if uh, if we remember correctly... Oh, yeah, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that's bronze. That's why. Um, now, AEU per tick. How much do you produce, buddy? Basic steam turbine. Voltage out is 32. Generation is 32, and we only have one loss per tick here, per block, so shouldn't be too big of a problem. Copper ingot. Sweet. Copper wires. That's what's up. That's very what's up. Okay. So we've got basic LV machines to start, right? Clearly a little bit of a dire mess. No one's surprised, right? No one at all. Everybody's like, yeah, that's exactly what we expected from Direwolf right now. Uh, let's come back in a minute. And so this guy's cooking no problem. He's running low on EU, though. Why is his EU dropping? Because you should be producing... Are you not getting enough steam? That could be the case, right? Maybe you're not getting steam fast enough? I mean, you're probably just not transferring enough. I bet that the hint was that we got some... We needed to make or we got. Which was it? Uh... Oh, that seems neat. Um... Medium bronze pipes was a thing. 
transfer 140 MB per tick. Small bronze pipes, 70 MB per tick. And then steam turbine, it doesn't say, 64 MB? So the 70 MB per tick should be enough. And I know this one's not running, but I thought you guys made more than that. Yeah, you definitely make more. Well, maybe you don't. Yeah, it might be more that you don't have enough fuel and whatnot. This thing definitely burns his fuel faster, obviously, because he's high pressure, right? He's going to burn fuel faster. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to call that wrapping up points. So what I'm going to do between episodes is do a bunch of crafting, maybe get a couple LV machines, and come back next episode with those machines ready, and we'll start looking at uh, stuff. All right, but for now, Delta 20 signed off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and do more with low voltage. Now that we're in the low voltage tier, there's a lot of stuff that opens up. There's like a lot of stuff that's going to be cool. So take it easy.